A little over a week from now is this year's Mid-Autumn Festival, or Moon Festival. The actual date of it differs every year, but this year it's going to be on October 1st. If you know me or follow me on Instagram, I'm at Sushi Day, then you'll know by now that I love mooncakes. Every year around this time, I'll post pictures of the mooncakes that we got from 85 Degree Bakery or Me Hip Bakery in Little Saigon or the ones that Sun's parents got us or even one year, the ones that I made. They're a lot of work to make, but I would say having a YouTube channel is the perfect excuse to make them, wouldn't you? We love mooncakes so much. I'm a no yolk kind of gal, but Sun, he loves the salted egg yolks. If I'm making mooncakes, I can't not make the salted egg yolks for Sun. So that's what we're doing today. Last time I made mooncakes on my old Twitch cooking stream, I didn't plan far enough ahead. So all I had time to do were the quick salted egg yolks. They weren't bad, but they weren't as good as the ones that we're used to getting when we buy mooncakes. This year, I planned well ahead and a month ago started brining some eggs. But I wanted to do a true test, make both styles of salted egg yolks and compare them to see which one we actually like best. Therefore, I will be showing you both methods today and then we will be tasting them and comparing them at the end. First, we'll do the brining technique. This is the one where you have to prepare way ahead. Boil one part salt in four parts water until the salt dissolves completely. Then let that cool all the way down to room temperature. We don't want cooked eggs today. Place however many eggs you want to cure in a glass container and pour the brine over them, making sure that the eggs are completely submerged. If you need to, use something to push the eggs down so that they're fully submerged. I used an upside down lid that was a little smaller than the container I'm using, but you could also use crumbled up parchment paper. Put that in the fridge and a month later, your eggs will be ready to use. If you want to be able to use the salted egg whites, such as for congee, then you can hard boil them. Otherwise, you can just open up your eggs, discard the whites and use the yolks as is. That was the longer technique. Now for the quick method. Three days before you want to be able to use the yolks, separate your egg yolks from egg whites. You can use the whites for whatever else you want to use them, but we're not gonna need them for this recipe. Set out a bed of salt. I like to use a container that I can cover. Put the egg yolks on top of the salt and then cover them with more salt so they're completely surrounded by salt. Stick that in the fridge, let it sit for three days. After three days have passed, take them out of the fridge, remove them from the salt and brush off as much of that salt as you can. Then rinse them in apple cider vinegar, trying to get as much of the crystallized salt off as possible. If it still feels like there's salt attached to the outside that you can see after you've rinsed them, you may have to cut off that outer layer because otherwise it'll be super, super salty. We've made that mistake before. They were some salty mooncakes. <laughs> and now your yolks are ready to use in some mooncakes. If you want to see how we are using our salted egg yolks in mooncakes, be sure to subscribe because Shrimpy is going to be making our mooncake filling very soon. And then we will be finishing off and making some full mooncakes in a few days. Howdy folks. We're taste testing salted egg yolks. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm leaving. Shrimpy, prepare the boat. <laughs> You gotta admit that was a good one. That was a good one. Thank you. We've got four different salted egg yolks to sample today. We are not doing a mooncake tasting today, although these are in mooncakes, just so we can taste test the final versions, but we will actually taste test the mooncakes later. Yes. Today we're just focusing on the salted egg yolks. Number one is this one. This is the one, the quick salted mm. egg yolk. This is the one that was in the bed of salt for three days and then we brushed off the salt. Okay, hold on one yes. second. Be when you were watching the prep yes. portion of this video, we only showed two. 
we show the quick version uh -huh. and the slow version. Okay, but, we showed the quick salted and then we showed the brined version. Yeah, yeah. But then we also showed the hard boiling oh, of right, the brined right. version, which are the two yeah. other. Yeah. And Allison developed from so, two we'll, or three to four. We'll get there. We're, we're getting. We're, we'll we're get there. going technical right. on this. Taste, yo. Taste. So this is the. This is the quick salted. Quick and dirty version. Quick and dirty. Not bad. Salty. And we knew this coming in because you made this last year for our Twitch stream. Two years ago. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Two years ago. Yeah, I didn't make any last year. And we, we salty. Yeah. And we knew that it's salty. We went yeah, we knew coming into that that these were very salty. <laughs> that look on your face is exactly how it feels. It's a little salty. I I did my best to remove as much of the salt as possible from the outside, but it's still it's a fairly salty, salted egg yolk. Quite my, salty. My blood pressure is, is Whee! it's going up. It's pumping ah. right now. So, so yeah. the thing about this one, I I like the texture of it, but like I said, it's very 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 salty, and I don't I haven't tested it, and if I had more time. I might, but um, I don't know if uh, salting it fewer days might mean that it's not so salty, but I also don't know if we would lose texture yeah. or if it would be not cured enough. So this is if three you only days? Do, this is three days. Okay. So if you only do one or two days, I don't know if that'll be enough. Mooncake number two. This is the one that was brined for a month. It's not the one that was hard boiled or soft boiled after that. So this is just the brining and then take the yolk and put it in a moon cake and bake it in the moon cake. So let's try. Mm, it looks pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I can see the the light shining through the egg. Mm, definitely not as salty. It seems almost barely salty to me. I don't love the texture of this one. Mm -hmm. It feels almost gummy. So in terms of saltiness, it's much better. Although I don't even know if it's salty enough. Yeah, it's a little lacking in the salt mm -hmm. department. But it's definitely not the texture that we normally associate with. Yeah, we want it case. to be a little bit more powdery. Mm -hmm. Yolky. Softer. Softer, yeah, softer. Yeah. Like yeah. almost flaky, like falls apart. Mm -hmm. And I will admit that I actually did leave the eggs in for 45 days. So a month and a half. <laughs> but but you kidding. would think that they would end up yeah. too salty and they're still yeah. not salty yeah, enough. So which makes me feel like leaving it in longer is not necessarily the fix that I need. Yeah. It doesn't really solve it. So yeah. I definitely like them better than the quick salted ones. Yeah. Because those were way too yeah, salty. Way too salty. And I, I definitely prefer not salty enough. Yeah. Over way too salty. Alright, number three. The, the last two that we have are, we're both brined, but we've got the soft boiled and the hard boiled. And I originally did the, the hard boiled and then I thought maybe the soft boiled would be more like what we want. Mm -hmm. So we also did soft boiled. It looks closer to what I am used to. Mm hmm. Mm. Does that one seem a little saltier to you? No. No? It's yeah. more eggy. I like it. The, the texture is definitely closer to what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. So I think boiling it does help with the texture. Mm -hmm. It's not gummy. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Little a bit. little bit. Yeah. I'm just kind it's of very... picking it apart right now and just, yeah, Can look how it's... It's, it's... Yeah, it's pretty... Yeah. It's still... It's not as gummy as the unboiled one, mm -hmm. but it's still... Chewier. It's chewy, yeah. Than what it's I would little, want, what yeah. I normally like. But from... is it salty to you? I don't think so. No. No, not salty at all. But it's not bad. I do like boiling more than not boiling, just because that means that you can use the egg whites. I was I was really expecting everything to just be too salty. But when we boil this, we've been eating the egg whites with just anything because they're not super, super salty. All right, last one to try the hard boiled brined salted egg yolk. So you brine this for more than a month uh -huh. and then you 
boil this thing till it's hard. And then you take it out. And then you just unwrap the white part. And then you get the yolk, and the yolk is perfectly round. Yes, I yeah, actually really like perfect, that. Yolk is perfectly very, round, very and you round. can't mess it up, So right? you get, it's got really good shape. The quick salted are pretty firm. Mm-hmm. So those are somewhat easy to work with. The brined and the soft boiled brined are very malleable, and it's like working with an egg yolk except a little more firm. Yeah. And so it's hard to work with because you feel like you're going to pop it, and I actually kind of did with one of them, but the hard boiled egg yolk Mm -hmm. was perfectly circular it was really easy to work with because like what are you going to do you can squish it a little bit but it's not going to like ooze all over the place so far it looks really good it looks looks legit right it looks Mm -hmm. round it does it's not flat like the other one yes it looks looks much more like what you would expect from a mooncake yes Mm. you know what Mm Mm-hmm. we've been trying to taste this or we've been doing this for a few days Mm mm-hmm the first time I tried this, it's not, I'm like, mm, it's quite there. Mm-hmm. And now that I try it again, comparing to the other one, this is the closest. They, they always say, and we'll go over this more in the actual mooncake video, but they always say, let it sit at least one day before eating, but ideally let it sit three days mm. before you eat the mooncakes. Because I think all of the oils from the filling kind of seep out into everything else. And so the dough, the, the cakey part on the outside, gets softer mm-hmm. after a few days. And I'm wondering if it's also doing something to the yolk because when we tried it the day after cooking it, mm-hmm. it was not as good as it is. I didn't taste anything. It was mm-hmm. not flavorful, but now That's, this is yeah. so close to, to the, really the one that. that you get at the store. Mm-hmm. Okay, it- so if you want store quality yeah. Salted egg yolks. Do the brining method mm-hmm. and then hard boil your eggs and then use those egg yolks in your mooncakes. It's flaky too. Look at mm-hmm. that. It's flaky. The texture is really good. It's a little powdery, a little mm-hmm. eggy. Mm-hmm. And one other thing that um, oh, so I good. didn't realize when I was making this, mm-hmm. and then I was like, why do my yolks not quite look the same as what we get at the Sorbonne? Typically, mooncakes are made with duck eggs, salted duck eggs. We're using chicken eggs because we can't really acquire duck eggs very easily, especially in the middle of the pandemic. So we're just going with chicken eggs. You can totally use chicken eggs, but if you can get duck eggs, that will be much, much more like the moon cakes that you see at the store or in bakeries. And now I kind of want to try that, like try the the brine for a month and then boil hard boil so next year if we can leave the house next year if we're gonna have to make more moon cakes if there's a next year baby if there's a well there's all this just got depressing do not steal my moon cakes so depressed Allison I I'm a you know how I am Allison I when I get depressed I eat all the moon cake baby you do that even when you're happy you don't have to expose me like that Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. And if you want your name on this list, you can go to patreon.com slash sushi day and become a supporter as well. And if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, hit that sub button and like this video because it does help our little channel grow and we appreciate every little like. And if you want to see all of the other cooking videos that we've done, you can check them out right over here. We'll see you next time. You want to see my moon cake, Allison? I don't know if I should say yes to this.